the Delaware's peaches were first planted near Delaware City by a man named Isaac Reeves in 1832. In the 1830s, 1840s, peaches really had to be shipped to market by boat, by the steamboat. So uh, you farther down you went in the state, the, there was less access than there would be at Delaware City. They were shipping peaches by boat, primarily sailboat, to Philadelphia, New York, Boston. And Delaware became known as a peach uh, center. Uh, but the railroad came along in the 1850s, 1860s, and peach production followed the development of the railroad. So when the train got to Middletown, orchards sprang up around Middletown. When it got to the Dover and the Camden, Wyoming area, orchards sprang up around there, and then Bridgeville. So the development of the train connecting those farmers to urban markets um, you know, was a stimulus for the, for the peach industry's growth in the 1800s. During the height of the peach season, the train stations and all the little towns up and down the Delmarva Peninsula would be just crazy with wagons and people and yelling. They get the peaches onto the um, train because if a peaches were picked and got on the train by noon of one day, they could be in the New York market by the next morning. So that's how fast they were working. It was, it was a very, very important industry. And, you know, uh, there were literally hundreds of thousands of peach trees uh, up and down the state, thousands of acres. And it was so important that in 1896, the state legislature uh, passed a law that made the peach blossom our state flower, which is indicative of how important the uh, peach was agriculturally and economically, because it's not only about the farmers. But even then, it's about hiring people to pick the crop, to haul the crop, the stimulus. It was an important income source, uh, freight rates for um, the railroads. Um, so it all worked together. The evolution of higher labor costs uh, had something to do with the decline of peaches as a major uh, crop in Delaware, but the real um, uh, downfall of the crop was the peach yellows disease, which uh, became uh, widespread in the 1890s and the early 1900s. And once it got into an orchard, it really started harming the trees and the fruit, and there was no treatment in the 19th century. And so once the trees and the fruit died, basically an area would be finished. So the peach industry in Delaware in the Marvel Peninsula sort of marches down. Uh, it's a Delaware city first, then it goes down to say Middletown area, then down to Smyrna, then farther, farther down. Because um, once it's finished in one area, they never really replant it. It was an unknown, it was a blight. It was just, you know, um, unexplainable and it had to be very, very frustrating and scary for those families. There, were, there was probably always peach yellows, and maybe you would notice a tree or two that died in, an, in a random orchard. But again, as the, uh, as the host plant, meaning the peach trees, became so prevalent, that allowed these pests to thrive. People that have lived in Delaware all their lives or for many generations, you know, they have a natural curiosity and respect and recognize Peaches have been very important and, and are a part of our history. Then we have a lot of people that move to the state, and I think newcomers are interested in finding out what happened here in the past. You know, what made this place tick? You know, um, why are they having a peach festival in Middletown, and what's the relationship? And they scratch a little deeper, they read some articles, uh, they see something on, on TV. And it turns out Middletown was a major shipping area, and a lot of those big farmhouses that are out in the country uh, were built by peach prophets 100, 120 years ago. And, and people identify and, and enjoy learning about their local history. This is the 19th annual Old Time Peach Festival, and we spell it O-L-D-E-T-Y-M-E. I think that people, um, or so many people, have moved into the area in the past probably starting about 12 years ago, it just became more and more people were moving in as, as developments were being created here. And I think people just want to have a sense of, okay, 
I want, I want to get to know the town. I want to, I want to get to get to have a feel and have a sense of it. And it's an easy way to do it. And it's become a tradition. Um, and people, people don't know, some, the people that have moved into the town don't know the history of the peach trees and everything, but they know that if they come here every year, they can get a slice of peach pie or peaches or peach ice cream, something based on that. And that's what they like. So it's, it's okay, I've moved here and now I have a good tradition to try to, to, try to do every year.